quickly number one the first platform the first authorized platform for knowing god is scripture write it down please the first authorized platform doctrinally speaking for knowing god is scripture second timothy please chapter 3 from verse 15 and 16 let's hurry up we have to pray second timothy chapter 3 from verse 15 and 16 it says and that from a child look up please thou hast known the holy scriptures it's not only god who is holy alone scriptures too are holy the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise unto salvation through faith which is in jesus christ the bible says all scripture is in your bible is given by inspiration of god and that scripture is profitable read with me for number one doctrine number two reproof number three correction number four instruction in righteousness the effect is in the next verse it says that the man of god may be mature the word perfect there does not mean blameless it means mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works this is the assignment of scripture all scripture not the one you like all scripture now please look at me from a historic standpoint when you read this bible that was canonized by a group of people containing 66 books and sold by bookstores like zondervan and so on and so forth that is more than you will find out that there are lots of human imperfections theologically speaking the old testament was written in hebrew and the new testament was written in a combination of greek and aramaic are we together now and according to the principles of translation there are certain words that um, have multiple meanings and you will find out that they have a formula that would guide their translating the bible and so many things were translated the way they were not accurately translated there is no doubt that there are human imperfections here this is why the bible does not say you should read it alone you are supposed to read under the influence of the holy spirit and when he the spirit is come the bible says the spirit of truth he will guide you truth can destroy even though it is truth the devil can use truth to destroy you if it is not guided. The Bible, Scripture, is the first platform for knowing God. Watch this. That means someone can get born again under your church, under your influence, and you can commend him, you can give him Scripture and expect that as he studies the bible he can know god what about god is revealed in scripture right please number one his character the first thing that is revealed from scripture about god is his character character number two for the sake of time his methodologies every time we study the bible to know god these are the two things we are looking for number one his character Number two, his principles or his methodologies, his modus operandi. The kingdom has its way of operating. So I can judge all things by the character of God that is revealed in scripture. For instance, I find from scripture that God is love. For instance, I find in scripture that God is merciful. So I can judge everything, the prophetic word coming to me, the manifestation of a believer based on the reference of God's character. Everybody say character. There are people all over the internet, I'm not on social media, but there are people all over the internet purporting to be me, unfortunately and sadly, and they have extracted hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, from sincere people are we together now i was shown a platform with over 43 books that were written by joshua selman i've not written one five star ratings people were rushing now listen let me tell you 
when you if someone calls you for instance and says i am joshua selman can you transfer one million naira for the building of an orphanage now your confusion or your deliverance will be based on your knowledge of my character are we together now number one i am so busy when i'm free i'm sleeping so the person who has that time to call you there are times that those who know me i don't even call at that time if someone calls you at that time you know that is a liar from the pit of hell there is something about god you can know and you use like a reference you can judge things and say, no, God does not behave like this. You can have the boldness to judge prophecy. You can have the boldness to vet an operation within a spiritual circle. Listen, the character of God is not the one you know. There is more than the one you know. I'm not talking of a denomination's approach to God. I'm talking of the knowledge of the God of the Bible. Are we together? Everybody say his character. So when Isaiah came to Hezekiah in chapter 38 of Isaiah, he said, Isaiah, I heard from God. Hezekiah, set your house in order. You are not going to leave. Hezekiah said, I respect you, man of God, so long. And he turned to God. There is something I know about God that his mercy is not his judgment. I knew every morning. And he said, God, but I can negotiate my longevity. If I die, who will praise you? And God said, ah, this man got me. David knew something about God. Every time God wanted to destroy him, he would sing his sings as a song and dance before God and say, Lord, are you not merciful? Music director, sing it. And God would say, what do I do with this man? Finally, he earned the title, a man after God's heart. David. There is something about God we need to know. So that the devil does not steal into your passion and lie to you. When you are broke and failing and things are going bad, the devil can steal into your sincerity and make you live a mediocre and a weak life and mentor you into believing that God can allow you like that until you search scripture to see the character of God that he who did not spare his son he gave his son freely without thinking about it. Will he not much more give you all things to enjoy? That if you being evil know how to give good gifts, how much more will your heavenly father? So immediately you know that that thing you think is God is the devil because you have judged by the character of God. Listen to me. You know why it is important to read your Bible? It's more than just easing the guilt of feeling that you are not spiritual. You read the Bible so that you are exposed to God's character. And then his methodologies, his ways of doing things. Let me tell you this. I don't mean to insult anyone. You know, I'm called to minister to the body of Christ. But there are many practices that may be sincere. But we need to look at them from the lens of scripture. In God's economy, how results are produced are as important as the results themselves. Do not say it doesn't matter. The most important thing is let there be results. No. There is a predefined methodology. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. It says to stand ye in the way, even that old path. It says to ask, ask for the old path. Where is the good way? When you find it, walk therein. And it will bring you into your Sabbath. Hallelujah. So we study scripture to know the character of God. We study scripture to know the ways of God. Platform number two, very quickly. The second platform that helps us to know God in this kingdom are the names of God. Write it down, please. The names of God. Exodus chapter 3. We'll start from verse 13 down to 15. Exodus chapter 3. This was Moses having an encounter with the God of the Bible in the burning bush. Until then he had not met the God of the Hebrews. Remember that Moses was raised an idol worshiper. I hope you know. Look up. I hope you know. I hope you know that Moses in his hedonistic state wrote books. Moses was a writer. 
he wrote books that are still being used today books that teach i hope you know that moses was being trained to be the next pharaoh he was going to be the one to succeed pharaoh for you to be a pharaoh in egypt you had to be half man and half wizard they would teach you the art of the constellations they would teach you how to make the stars they would teach you to how to align planetary bodies for your advantage they will teach you how to manipulate the elements of nature what do you think janus and jambas were there for they were not just magicians they were lecturers hallelujah it was from that standpoint that moses ran until he got married and was tending the sheep of his father-in-law jethro and then the bible says that he saw a bush that was burning and would not be consumed and moses said i will turn aside and see this great sight and when the lord saw that he had turned aside he said moses take off your shoes for where thou standest is holy ground and then the encounter continued now 3 verse 15 please and moses said unto god behold when i come to the children of israel and shall say unto them the god of your fathers hath sent me unto you and they shall say to me what is his name what shall i say unto them because you see god preserves his dimensions in his names don't forget this every dimension of god's glory is captured and preserved in a name every time he revealed himself in a certain way to the nation of israel they captured that dimension if they saw his supplies they captured it in a name called rafa and preserved it so any day they want to see that dimension again they will invoke rafa are we together if they saw his deliverance they called him sebaoth and captured that dimension and hid it so every time they were in war they would study the situation and study what name of god representing his dimension and they will invoke that name so moses is saying when i meet these people and i say i have come as a deliverer they will ask me what dimension of god did you encounter who sent you and you see pharaoh also had names that were preserved egypt had thousands of gods and all these gods had their assignment and they respected one another they were gods of fertility they were gods of agriculture they were gods of so on like we have in many you know traditions around africa we have gods that do this they specialize in this area that area each god has his requirement to invoke that dimension in him and god said give it to us please verse 13. moses you are asking what dimension of me you want to see i am that i am is a very dangerous name that means every other name they called me was simply your benefit for your benefit i am so mighty no man can fathom me but i decided to fragment myself into dimensions so that i can give men a chance to relate with me so sikenu is still jaira is still rafa but he broke his dimensions so that we can know him the same way both man and woman i hope you know that both man and woman are dimensions of god he separated himself number one for procreation but number two so that the clearest expression of god demonstrated on earth will be the relationship between a man and his wife it was God's design that the first example of God children will see is not a film, it's not a pastor, it's daddy and mommy. So mommy is a dimension of God. That's the reason why her and the Holy Spirit is God who is at work in us, both to will and to do. That means when God wants to bless you, the Spirit of the Lord will breathe upon you to invoke the dimension of Him that should be made manifest. All of Him cannot show up, you can't stand it. No even in heaven he feels all things are we together so if it is a healing service god will move the worship ministers and they will find themselves singing songs that invoke that dimension 
they, they will find out that they are, he, he answers to his name the moment you begin to sing songs as we worship in your presence there is healing 